started the idea uh, came that how can children be themselves so the name also is given by children uh, when we discussed with them they they came up we were thinking swayam siksha and i don't what not but they came up with idea of bimi and it just we just loved it and then it uh, now the idea we are extending it to faculties and parents bimi is all about being yourself being myself so when we are being ourselves uh then we are preserving and nurturing our individuality right so individuality became important part so when we were coming up with this idea me and co-founder prakash we used to sit together read book throughout the night and think how do we do that so and then again another thing came like i can be myself but i live in a community so there is a there is a lot of scope of co-creation and i need to take care of others need as well and that's when our main uh, element parliamentary decision making came into picture so once a week we all come together to decide on our our uh, whatever need we want to fulfill through bimi as a child as a faculty as a parent so we decide uh, through this way Uh, so we were thinking uh, should we start something on our own in bangalore and uh, our idea was to uh, stick uh, like have a campus in bangalore uh, and then within the city uh, i have seen uh, most of the alternate schools are in uh, outside of bangalore and we wanted to cater to children inside the city and uh, uh, what we saw was like the the main challenge was to uh, uh, care like Uh, afford the rent and then real estate part uh, but what we thought was uh, if uh, we need to give this kind of education uh, not everybody can afford to go to outskirts of bangalore so we must be uh, uh, doing something about this and that's how we uh, started working on this idea we were wondering okay what kind of uh, alternate education uh, center we want to start and then we looked at uh, different philosophies we we had arohi philosophy, philosophy exposed Uh, because of our children and then uh, uh, we looked into jiddu krishnamurthy philosophy then we looked at other uh, indian uh, 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 education reformers philosophies like gandhi vivekananda etc and uh, later uh, one year before this uh, i had attended one uh, conference called uh, learners uh, uh, society learner society and conference lsuc in pune in 2013 and uh, i was exposed to sudbury valley school uh, uh, literature uh, in that conference and uh, that's where i think the our whole uh, thought process got converged into and uh, we decided to start uh, uh, the uh, like the uh, uh, bimi uh, based on uh, democratic uh, schooling uh, concept so this element of parliamentary meetings which is kind of a decision making body it has evolved very nicely over period of time so first year it was all about how do we use this space and children were also not very clear about what they can bring in as an agenda but now i can just share one example where one child wanted to keep uh, dogs in bimi and he uh, found one puppy on a road like mother dog was there and four five puppies were there and he just took one puppy and came and he started taking care of it and all and then it came to parliament because we cannot decide alone 
and the various angles and aspect regarding uh, that whole uh, keeping the puppy in bimi came about that child was so attached to that puppy he kept that puppy for two day to care cleaned everything but then some children express that you just you know took one child from mother and then that the the child who got the puppy was also in tears and then another faculty brought in how the puppy was handled like you know lifted and all and what all we need to consider when we take such decision and the child who brought the puppy he himself agreed that i should just go and give back this puppy to his family it was a lovely experience we we had through parliament meeting so we have a big banyan tree in center of bimi and then children are allowed to climb so uh, there were lot of anxiety in parent community regarding you know child falling and so it kept on coming on our whatsapp group and different platforms so whatever we decide for children we decide with them so then we took this agenda to parliament from parent community side parents are not part of parliament re process like they don't attend parliament but we can always take agenda so faculty group took this agenda that parents are concerned so what do we do do we put net underneath the uh, tree to safeguard and all uh, and many aspects came we discussed we discussed and then uh, it actually addressed very beautifully uh, some children say that you know we are being very mindful when we are climbing if we think that we are going to fall will not if we put a net then we will stop being mindful and it was we didn't think about this when we were talking to parents so we just we just shared what children had shared uh, in our parent community we shared uh, through a mail that this is what children discussed and we have decided as a group not to put any safety net and we will be safe and mindful about it and parent community all anxiety got settled now uh, that at least for now it is not being discussed in the groups and they are okay with that that uh, back at now at 10 years what i have learned and experienced few things which i really wanted to share is the first thing is the way the they look at failure failure is something for them it is like what next what can be done next as a parents me and my husband really wanted our kids to uh, think failure as part of their life and just move on and that they have learned beautifully part of this baby journey and the second thing is figuring out attitude once they decide if they want to learn something it's all about figuring out they just explore and figure out how to learn and go about it that also we really like here the next thing what i want to tell is the outstation and the outdoor trips which is part of the bimi system bimi environment where they get to plan their trip they have a real life experience they really explore the real world which is beyond textbooks another thing which is part of the bimi environment is community days this is something where they all come together they plan their food and the entertainment of the day they uh, this is something which is a real experience what i can tell is what i have learned what i probably would have learned in my 20s they learn at the young age the another thing is uh, the decision making decision making is a skill but here the kids inherit this decision making skill beautifully they analyze they know to analyze the pros and cons and they own the consequence of their own decisions and if i can keep go going on the beautiful thing here uh, we call them as facilitators faculty actually we call them here as saka each saka no Uh, they understand the principle of being me so beautifully, and they give space to each child. The way they nurture each child, they give the environment for the each child is something which we cherish, and that is priceless. Overall, if I want to talk about it, being me is not just a system or a school. It is an environment, and as a parents, we are really, really happy because they learn 
life skills beyond textbooks and general knowledge and we are very totally excited to be part of this beamy journey so for me beamy is the place uh, everything about this place is really fun and it makes me feel free i can do whatever i want and it just makes me happy whenever i come to this place i forgot to forget about everything that's stressing me out and i just enjoy being here when the kids reach home in this 10 years we also have evolved as parents because when we grow up it is not the generation that you know we were given the freedom or we could decide for ourselves in our generation the parents decided for everything and we respected those decisions and though it was restricted we grow in that environment when we saw when we saw the bimi environment is different as a whole thing it was a totally a learning project for us also to implement few things that they implemented in bimi at home but it was a journey for us to get evolved there are a lot of places where we gave our kids freedom to decide we were they were not enforced we since we grew up in the with the with the previous generation i would not tell 100% we are like you know freedom giving parents but at the same time we are evolving with the children with respect to freedom we respect their decision and we give them space to grow by themselves with kids we also learn a lot of things from the environment at bimi most of us look forward is outstation event each kid decide where to go they research they speak out they decide they plan decide the place with consensus vote planning and executions happen as a team with the within the top set budget more than a physical uh, place you know it transcends the concept of a school and it's really more than what you'd call like a traditional i mean even learning community it even transcends the concept of community i think not left behind is the lady faculty who dreamt of having a unique experience of walking along the historical dandi path a trek for nearly 378 km across 47 village from sabarmati ashram to dandi the coastal surat is a compelling is compelling at this stage the team was a 15 members strong with an varied age group of 7 to 60 the trek had no specific intention though but it was a check on body and mind endurance understanding the distance by walk versus vehicle culture nature uniqueness of the place as we pass by so bimi everything runs on democratic principles and um, um over a period of time we we started seeing the um, fault typical faults that a democracy faces uh, like uh, when we even you go with voting Uh, then majority votes and there is a small minority which doesn't feel heard or um, they start uh, feeling like um, their voice doesn't matter or uh, decisions when they are taken based on the majority vote they um, uh, it sometimes may not turn out for everybody's good so these uh, flaws started emerging um, somewhere uh, second third year of our um of our functioning and uh, that is when we kind of came across uh, the concept of sociocracy and um <clears throat> the first time we we saw that was when we uh, went for idec uh, in bangalore uh, 
um, in 2018. Uh, so we, we participated in a session on sociocratic decision making and I was very impressed by it and um, then I spoke about it to others who, who were there with me on, in the conference. Parent Parliament um, was like a, uh, like an effort to um, extend the decision making process to the parent community as well. Um, we we noticed that things that that were um, uh, that that were that impacted parents um, so, somewhere uh, uh, the facilit among facilitators we were discussing and we were seeing how what's the way forward and all of that. And we were extremely uncomfortable making those decisions without involving the parents in the decision making processes. So, and uh, from parent community also there were questions or queries that were coming in and um, ev every time it was looking like uh, um, uh, we, uh, we were being viewed as an authority or we were feeling that with that we are becoming an authority and that was not a space we wanted to operate from so we, we in one of the our um, half yearly meetings where the entire community comes together we proposed uh, that we would like to try this out and this is the reason behind trying it out so parents were okay with this and we piloted that for a semester and we tried to bring in all the decisions that impact parents um, like what kind of parent connect events we will have, what, ki uh, what are the types of, uh, what are the questions or queries that are there in, our, in, de in the parent's mind and, or some things where we needed the support from parent community, we'll, we'll put that as an agenda or some, and as, at times uh, there will be uh, projects that would require um, involvement from all people involved, either parents, uh, us, children, etc. So all of these things come into the parent parliament format. Uh, and uh, we, we, we meet once a month, uh, now, as of now that's the frequency at which we meet. And it's still evolving, it's a very new thing and it's still evolving and we will see how this goes. So uh, everything in uh, BME kind of works on connection and the feeling of community and the relationships that we create among all the community members. Um, and a lot of things uh, in BME happen because of the support that we receive from the parents. Uh, there was a time when um, uh, we, we did one round of triathlon, Prakash led a lot of children, he uh, mentored them through uh, all the triathlon events and we uh, and uh, that particular time the triathlon itself was organized by a group outside of Bimi and we just registered as participants um, and that event went on successfully. And the next year, uh, there were more enthusiastic participants and, um, uh, and everybody started practicing and everything. But then the event organizers uh, decided not to organize the triathlon. That left a lot of children in a lot of distress. And we were like, uh, children raised, why can't we organize our own triathlon event? And uh, at that time, it felt like uh, no there's no way we can pull something so big off uh, but then we had a discussion with the pa parents uh, also uh, how how can we do about it so there was a group a small groups of people discussing everywhere and somehow uh, it emerged uh, a plan emerged with uh, one parent finding the venue 
and uh, one parent uh, some uh, uh, driving the whole thing and we we finally ended up having a tri tri triathlon event of organized for dimi community and but then towards the end somebody said can someone external part participate and then there were some people from who are not part of vimi community but they also participated and that was a very heartwarming thing to watch and witness um, children get inspired by uh, activities that are happening around them so um, we bring in a lot of that in the space itself for example today we we had uh, one uh, volunteer parent who was doing stitching and uh, it uh, uh, she just came and she was stars she was she was stitching and two more children she, they got interested and they wanted to know what she was doing and they joined hands with her so um, we just create environments for learning we create conditions for interest and we give them a lot of uh, different different uh, fields where that can possibly be the field of interest because uh, only sometimes talking doesn't help they can't visualize but when they are seeing things in action it is very easy for them to relate or to uh, try things out in bimi space we uh, art is one of one of the our main uh, you know a medium for expression uh, children are uh, they love art uh, especially the early age and the uh, i think 10 and around 10 year old uh, they do quite a bit of art and they do different form of artwork they are very much interested about craft and all so yeah This is be me, right? Everyone knows be me means be yourself. Your children learn themselves only. If uh, uh, they want any help from adults, they can come and ask. We will not force them to actually. We will not force anything. You, if you wanted to do, they can do whatever they want. Uh, and also, uh, they love to do activities every day, different different activities. And they will only come up with uh, idea like. today i want to make this project and if anything project like cooking project it can be like carpentry project it can be and uh, stitching uh, they have lot of ideas in their mind uh, we will help with if they want obviously we will help them i would like to talk about this uh, the student uh, we have she i i remember when she was 6 year old she would be intrigued with colors and textures so i remember uh, on a daily basis she would come she would mix colors and work on surface textures and she would do a lot of art uh, particularly uh, mixing colors and working with different materials and through and through then i i realized one day she was looking at a fashion book and she was uh, very interested uh, in how the figures were drawn and she asked me questions about you know what is the drawing what why, why is she standing in a certain way and then i remember together we did some of uh, stencil work where the uh, and you know slowly um, that now the child is actually doing a uh, fashion show one day i was just randomly drawing and then it turned into a dress i asked my sakha and then she said that you can do a fashion show if you want i said okay she told me to draw five seven more dresses i drew that and then we did our first fashion show another one of my friends uh, also drew a few dresses we both did a fashion show together which was in pegasus and now i've done three fashion shows and i've judged a fashion show Well, I was really happy because everyone was proud of me, saying you did a great job, and that was a feeling I can never forget. It was really joyful. Uh, Bimi stands on uh, two pillars, and uh, if I want to name them, then uh, one is faith in child and faith in life. Uh, when I am talking about faith in life, let us look at it. What does it mean? Then faith in life. Uh, we are coming from that perspective that every child loves to learn and 
every child has ability to learn that is what we mean by when we say faith in child now the other aspect is faith in life faith in life is life is you live life and there are thousands of opportunity knocking at the at your door to learn so these are the two things on which we me stand stands now if i want to then we were reflecting that okay then what what is our role what is environment role and what are the core values which will make our environment because now we don't have any role to play life is providing the learning opportunity and children have that ability to learn and they love there is love for learning is there we need to just you know nurture that then it, the focus comes on environment so if i want to put it out the core values of be me uh, then it is you know trust in the child that we know that the child's world child know the best best we are outsider for them so can we fully trust on their ability to learn and can we provide that environment which nurture that uh, that and uh, their trust means they learn on their own they confidently live their day in and day out so we thought that environment like if i uh, take analogy of a uh, tree then soil is what uh, which has those nurturing element so then we said okay love uh, care and uh, acceptance and support these are the four elements we could we could think about when i am visual, visualizing myself as an adult in environment so whatever happens whatever situation may arise can i operate from that you know very core of that that yes i believe in child i trust in child and can i operate from the space of love uh, in which environment they can you know fully uh, freely be themselves and then uh, live with that inner trust on themselves so then environment when we are talking about environment again this is one thing which i have discussed so many times with parents as well whenever it comes to rich environment from somewhere i i, I don't know but that becomes you know then we have all facilities in the environment like if swimming pool and then play uh, playground and this and that if you um, but i think when i am talking about environment i'm not coming from uh, you know only stimulation point of view so when we started be me we we had that desire strongly and then from past 7 years i can say that that uh, actually be me is a be me is community and it is creating that uh, nurturing platform for children and we it is it is you can say it's incubation place and you come here and the entire world is classroom so if we have a need of swimming we go and established swimming pools are there we can you know even use them facilities facilities is not which we are focusing on so if i come back to again creating that nurturing platform with lot of love care support acceptance for each other in environment then how one individual can be and with that platform child decides in which direction to go so if i want to give an example then we have one child uh, she has decided to go fully academically right now she is in conventional school and she is thriving there she is loving that uh, you know writing exams and all that while we have another child who has decided to continue with lot of projects and right now he is working on one of the projects he is both of them are alumni of bimi uh, this uh, child has continued uh, you know learning on his own almost home schooling himself through projects while this child has uh, you know decided to uh, go into that world and then find her place in that world so when we are i'm talking about that platform uh, we just want to focus on that 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 nurturing platform and then we want to leave it to child in which direction they want to grow because of this be me journey the best takeaway for me as a as a as a parent has been that i have been actively involved in the child's education and learning and growth all through it was not just putting the school uh, the kid to a school and forget what it is we are part and parcel of their every activity like every other parent i also had this huge concern about what to do for my daughter's 10th when she was uh, around 11 years of age 
and uh, I had this choice between NIOS, IGCAC, etc. And we, along with my daughter, we had this uh, study of what to do for NIOS, what to do for G IGCAC. And uh, we uh, chose NIOS because that gave her a bouquet of subjects which she could choose from. At the same time, not uh, forget her uh, for her uh, long term goals. So we chose a bundle book of subjects and uh, some of the subjects she chose only for, for the sake of learning. For example, she didn't want to write social studies as a subject. Uh, she dropped out of social studies as a subject after a second mock, but she completed the entire curriculum because of her interest in the subject. Similarly, she did a, a complete curriculum of entrepreneurship, but uh, since that was not available for 10, she just dropped out of that, but she did the entire curriculum. And now she's got a, a, a book of subject which, is, which helps us get into our uh, passion for design in future. Yeah, kids usually come, you know, with a generic idea that they can do anything with wood. And then we kind of guide them about what are the limitations of wood, what are the designs that we go ahead and can implement in wood. Okay, so one of the guy came with a video telling that I want to make wings. So in the video, you see a guy standing and then he presses a button. So a wing kind of opens up like this. And when we did the inquiry, it came up to the price like we have to spend 16,000 for the hydraulic system to work. So we said, okay, let's do something very simply as a mechanical contraption. So what we did was we did a wooden base. So on that we made wooden sticks like this. And then, okay, once we have this co concept, like this is how it's going to be. So what we th th thought of was, okay, how do we do the moving parts? So the moving parts, what we came up with was we fixed PVC as a track on both sides and then fixed this upper piece. And then we found a twine that goes from this end to the back. And then we put two straps so the guy can wear it. And then that's how the idea came. But then we kind of tinkered for a week uh, to, you know, fine tune it. So we have, uh, we organize uh, some events uh, so that pa parents are able to come together as, as a group and connect with each other and uh, build relationships. Uh, and this uh, in turn um, flows into how parents are able to support us with many many of the things that we do like we have these corners um, like math corner or science corner or uh, language corner we have and it's it's all running because some parents volunteer and they come and uh, they spare some of their time uh, similarly we have some uh, some parents who uh, who come uh, for half a day and spend time cooking with the children or uh, teaching them crochet or even taking electives for for ch uh, children or doing some projects project mentoring etc in bimi community i think we attended one book club wherein we got introduced to this book uh, nonviolent communication and uh, that is when we started uh, reading that book and also started implementing in our lives yeah this book made a lot of changes in our life. It brought small, small changes, how to express our feelings rather than blaming somebody. How I felt about a situation. A small example I would say recently which happened in our family. Um, I have seen uh, uh, conflicts coming onto the breakfast table little regularly. And uh, it's a morning rush, all of us, I have to leave to office, kids have to go to school. And I said that, how come these days conflicts is coming onto the table? You're putting conflicts for kids most of the days. And... <laughs> yeah, I think I was a little upset about the whole thing. Not about what he was saying, but the way he was saying. The word he was using every day, which is not even true. Maybe he was just assuming. And yeah. then uh, after kids left, we had a small discussion and then I expressed that I felt very sad. Because you brought up that point that you give conflicts to kids every day. So then he understood. I think he understood only because I expressed my feeling, what I am feeling inside that I am sad that you spoke this. Then yeah. he understood the thing at a, a very normal level. Yeah. And then... And I understood that, I blamed her. I said that you are putting conflicts every day. But instead of that, if I have chosen, 
um, I have observed that cornflakes is coming onto the table every day. It would have been much more lighter. <laughs> yeah, and we had a happy moment after that. <laughs> when we started Dini, we started with blank slate. Absolutely nothing on, uh, you know, no laws, no guidelines. We started with children and we did everything. All, all systems at Dini have evolved with children. And one of the system is uh, JC, which is a judiciary committee. So the whole idea was to create a platform where expressions could flow. Uh, and it has helped. When we started, there were uh, some conflicts in the environment between specific group of people. And then uh, generally, uh, if you are young, when you go to an adult and say that, auntie, this is what is happening. Or if you are in, you know, 10, 12 years, in that age, that age range, what generally I have seen personally is you just don't speak about it because you want to fit in in the group, you want to be friends and you don't want to lose your friends. So you just kind of, um, I don't want to say compromise, but don't want to talk about it. <laughs> so this platform actually helped children express. They came together, talked about what difficult uh, things and try to uh, solve their difference in all, right? And I remember during one of those conversations, one of the children uh, mentioned, when you look at uh, the case paper, the way the case paper is designed, it looks whoever put the case is right, and whoever the case is put on is wrong. That image yeah. is already built even before the conflict resolution process starts. Mm. So can we uh, redo uh, the case paper? Can we rethink JC? This happened around four years back, right? Uh, mm. Somewhere around that time. So uh, that, that's when we kind of started, a uh, uh, of course there is a semester reflection that happens, but a deep end level of re reflection of what is the system for, what is its purpose, and is it serving the purpose? Um, so from there we started thinking what system does JC serve? And at the end of the day, uh, through JC, what, what we would want uh, is, uh, is how to manage relationships, how to have difficult conversations with your, your best friend. Some action of your best friend is hurting you and you, you, it is difficult to talk about it right to, to the person and uh, how to have that conversation so now we are like thinking of bringing these aspects in um, moving away from uh, somebody else solving an issue for you into you yourself empowering yourself to solve it for yourself Uh, conflicts that have been long-standing, they repeat, uh, repeat and go over a long period of time until it is really resolved. So that's where step four and the Judiciary Committee steps in and we try to resolve it through various methods. It can be an expression circle, it can be talking we, uh, talking one-on-one -on -one with, with each of the people involved, it can be talking in group, it can be let's talk about it, it can be a panchayat. Yeah. <laughs> so there are various methods at step four that would be identified to, um, to solve the issue. Yes, so it is not pre-decided, right? Yeah. Because step four is now that you have tried uh, whatever was in your head or whatever you could try. So now it is there is something which help. So it can be unique for each conflict. Like I can just you, uh, share with uh, um, one incident where you know there was a continuous teasing going on for one person in environment by a group of people. Now I because uh, we follow confidentiality, I cannot share the details. But when they when we came um, when we dig deeper, we realize there are certain topics we want to bring and that's when let's talk about it key so we started talking about those topics everybody got realized that okay the, the, there are some things which we need to know and that actually we didn't do anything else and that resolved the conflict and now we see that those groups are you know they are they are not part of BME but they are connected with each other they're checking on each other how life is going and yeah learning necessarily happens when uh, when facilitator or a teacher understands uh, 
स्टूडेंट दैट अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज ईच चाइल्ड हैज अ डिफरेंट पर्सनैलिटी एंड इफ दैट पर्सनैलिटी इज नॉट अंडरस्टूड एंड नॉट ग्रूम द लर्निंग विल फेल दैट्स वॉट आई बिलीव एंड आई एम हैप्पी दैट इन बी मी दैट इंडिविजुअलिस्टिक अप्रोच इज देयर दिस इज अ सेल्फ डायरेक्टेड लर्निंग एज दे कॉलेज वेयर चिल्ड्रन वेयर चिल्ड्रन काइंड ऑफ एक्सप्रेस देयर डिमांड्स और नीड्स एंड दोज आर टेकन फॉरवर्ड एंड इनफ रिसोर्सेस एंड स्टिम्यूलस इज प्रोवाइडेड सो दैट दे कैन डू मोर एक्सप्लोरेशन विथ इट The one thing I really enjoy about Bimi is uh, the fact that outstations and outdoors get a lot of real life experience and not just other things like textbooks and stuff. It made me understand how the actual world can be and not just the inside thing. And the other thing I really enjoy is the people and the friends I've made. That's something I'll always keep. Uh, the thing that inspired me and um, the thing I liked most about Bimi was. it made me uh, more confident and it made me make uh, like it made me do things again and again and not just uh, leave it after doing it once uh, it made me uh, realize what, like there's a process to do everything and it made me uh, realize that i mean i can do things on my own i don't need to be dependent i can uh, take things up and take it to completion so that was one of the, my main learnings and uh, how i chose my subjects for my nios um so i wanted to take uh, not too hard subjects but i wanted to cover uh, a wider range hi hi i'm good how was your experience in uh it was a great experience i could uh, do what i wanted to do and be with the people who i enjoyed being with and people who uh, were comfortable with me and i was comfortable with and i really enjoyed it what are you doing after uh right now i'm preparing for my exam 10th exam uh, and i was exam that's what i'm currently doing after be me yeah what do you plan on this Uh, I want to do something in the design field. Uh, yeah, something related to art and design is what I would like to do. Currently, I am doing a few projects. One of it is like study based, like whatever studies, and the other one is heel recover live. So heel recover live is like um, I want to quote organization, but that seems like a humongous word. So I'm just gonna tell heel recover live is basically like this organization I go with that. we are trying to bring sustainability into a normal practice at home so like we make uh, videos on youtube instagram and um, other platforms about like how you can do sustainability easily at home like like how it's accessible to everyone so like editing filming recording research all of that comes in that so some of the videos we've done is like how to save electricity at home or how to save water at home or some comedy videos about how zomato is doing plastic neutral currently and um, other things like how to what climate change takes impact all those type of thing is currently what some of the videos and we're working on videos like um how to make compost or how to make bioenzyme which is one of the sustainable things that you can do so those are some of the things that we're working on i mainly do like um editing scripting research and like i'm the camera man or camera person and internet as I am the person who speaks in the videos and explains the topics and I also edit a few videos. So actually Satvika started this so I just joined her because we are best friends. Yeah. Yeah. So I had started this with my cousins actually but then they went to 10th so they're like no we'll ditch you Satvika I can't do much about it. So then they left and then I started doing by myself for some time and then Impana joined. So that time it became like that and now we're doing it together. I think for me it mainly started out of fear because I'm scared of death and so for me like climate change could kill all of us gives the thought freaks me out. So I was like if I could change somehow how could I do that? So that's how I started. So for me Satvika came up to me and she was like Impanad do you want to join this with me? Do you want to do this project with me? And then I actually from the beginning I wanted to do something for climate change when I'm older so I was like okay why not let's try. And then yeah
One thing I have tried uh, uh, in BME in last four or five years is uh, uh, letting children learn swimming on their own. Uh, and this came uh, uh, actually very natural to me because when I uh, learned swimming, it was in my native place uh, in an open well. And uh, there was a, a method to learn swimming by using a, a, a bundle of corn stems, uh, uh, which is tied on your back and then you get into the water. And uh, as you get comfortable with uh, water and then you start moving and then uh, getting comfortable more, more and more, you start removing uh, corn stems from that bundle and at some point you will be off that bundle. And uh, I, I thought, okay, well, this is a very natural way of learning and then uh, this can be done uh, here as well uh, for the children. And uh, what I did was uh, I took a batch of children and then uh, I wanted to try this with them. Uh, but I, in, in city, I wanted to try it with a, a tube, swimming tube. And we decided to use a swimming pool in uh, Kagdaspura. And then uh, I used to take children in my car. Uh, uh, we, you, we used uh, swimming tubes and uh, I let them uh, play in a uh, uh, pool with uh, full air in the swimming tubes. And a uh, couple of sessions later, about say four or five sessions, uh, I check with them, are they comfortable with uh, uh, playing in water and then are they able to uh, see how comfortable they can be with water without really wor worrying about the fear of drowning. And once they became comfortable with uh, that, I check with them when I can reduce uh, uh, air in the swimming tube. And as and when somebody was ready, I, uh, I would actually re uh, uh, take out air to the extent they are comfortable and over a period of few sessions later, so they were very comfortable and then they start, they got off the swimming tube. One of my favorite uh, memories I have about this school is when Ati was young, when we had, when Pimi was on the other side of the building. Um, uh, she loved the school so much that she wouldn't come back home. I would stay and she will say 10 minutes extension and she will say 20 minutes extension and she will not come back. There have been times when I've stayed for an hour in the school waiting to get her back, uh, back home. And it was annoying to, to be able to do that. To an extent where I had to tell her, I'm going to sue you. I'm going to put a complaint on you about the fact that you make me wait. And Namrata and I have had a laugh about it because I had to actually come to that level to actually bring her back home. Um, and I have constantly joked with the facilitators saying, please start a hostel. Keep the children here only. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think they want to come back. It's fine. Let them be here. So. The other thing that has been very fascinating to actually to understand how learning takes place in in a, a alternative school like this is the experience of um, the experience itself. You know, a couple of things come to mind. My daughter was responsible was participant of both the triathlon that took place a couple of years back and uh, she was also part of the Gandhi uh, uh, walk that we did um, and uh, both these were experiences that I don't think any other school would have uh, actually considered. I've got to be me, me. <laughs> I've got to be me, be me. What, else what else can I be, can I be but what I am? I am. I There are individual projects and then there are group projects. So individual, project, individual projects are uh, floated by uh, uh, children. Uh, like it can be a project in a carpentry workshop. Uh, somebody walks, wants to make a sword out of a wooden piece. That can be a project. Or one child had built a, a JCB model actually using a carpentry workshop. So those are all individual projects. 
then we also have group projects and uh, we have done a couple of adventure projects one was uh, the cycling uh, trip uh, which we did uh, over uh, seven days and covered uh, 440 kilometers uh, about eight children had participated in this uh, uh, project and then uh, we had done triathlon project twice uh, triathlon is an event where uh, swimming uh, cycling and running are involved and we did this uh, twice and then we had one project uh, for trekking so we did a, a trek in uh, kumara parvata in uh, near mangalore uh, and so these are adventure projects and then there were projects like uh, there was a play on uh, french revolution uh, uh, there was an elective on uh, uh, so, uh, social science and the faculty who was uh, uh, taking that elective suggested uh, that we do uh, a play on french revolution and uh, they, the children who were part of that elective, they wrote the script, they designed the costume and then they actually rehearsed the uh, play and finally they uh, did a performance for the rest of the Bimi children. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. How did you come to know of Bimi? So when my kid was two years old, I was researching for uh, some alternative schools because we were not very keen to put our son in a very traditional school. Another interesting incident which I'd like to mention about is we had already put our son in Bimi, but the school was yet to start. In between, uh, I run an art space called Lahe Lahe, which is in Bangalore, and we had a summer camp for kids. and. Uh, Generally, we've seen when kids come for summer camp, their parents come and roll the kids and the kids go in. There's hardly any interaction between the kids and us when they enroll, at least at the time of registration. But here, uh, these two parents, they came in and they asked me if the kids can spend 10 minutes before they would register. They would like to check out whether the camp is for them and then they'll decide whether they'll register or not. So I said, fine, go ahead. And uh, so they, they observed it for 10 minutes and then they registered. And I, I really like this feeling where it, the choice was given to the child to decide whether he should or she should, you know, join the summer camp or not. And I just spoke to their mothers afterwards and I came to know that they are from Bimi. I felt such a, uh, it was such a good surprise because the fact that I had put my son in the same school that these kids are from, that the school gives such an environment where they are given the freedom to make that choice of joining something or not. I think that was a big, big uh, thing for me and I was really happy about the fact that I had put my son in Bimi. Yeah, so for me, I think Bimi, uh, the definition of Bimi has, so I was in Bimi for five years and the definition changed almost every one or one and a half years. When we started, it was all about being together with everyone and then it evolved from there. And I feel like as I grew, I felt like I was finding new aspects of Be Me. And I think the best way that I can define it is that it's hardly definable. So the story behind this carpentry workshop starts from the day um, where I saw a few children, you know, trying to make a you know wooden box. Bimi had its uh, set of tools, you know, hand saws and drilling machines and all. And uh, these three kids were making something and you know that looked peculiar. And you know I was asking them what is this? And they said, you know, this is a curious box where you know you can keep you know um, some of the items that you want to keep and you know you can use it as a box and all but uh, that never looked like a box. So I had this idea of you know making something um, for Bimi, but you know individually that was not really possible, right? That's when you know we met and you know we talked about it. Yeah. So for me it was I think Bimi was in the other building, uh, three seven one eight, and they had this like a, a table which was had this cross base on it, and uh, they didn't even have a clamp. So one kid was holding the wood and the other was trying to cut it and the wood will kind of keep moving and these kids are small right so like 11 12 years of age so there was no stability and so if you have a dream if you are like children have a lot of big ideas okay uh, they think massive and uh, 
the speed at which that cut was happening uh, and with so many more things in their life i think it just takes huge amount of time to get <laughs> a simple thing done you know? so very soon you realize oh i am frustrated and i will not kind of do it so that was uh, i said that these kids want to do stuff and there isn't really a place where they can actually they are not equipped with those tools to do that these is not like you get into something very easily because of this youtube and so you you do play one thing another play another play so there was some bit of fascination or curiosity for woodworking that was happening in my mind luckily or incidentally i think i had been like gathering some tools at home so here was a place where you could do stuff and at home though you had all the tools you can't do much so we are also not experts in this at all like at least i didn't know much but this was a great opportunity to kind of co-create some stuff and then so we got all the tools we could, i think the basic starting stuff was there with us a drill a saw and a basic uh, table and so on so clamps and all were there i'm very happy as a parent uh, uh, as well as uh, i have become a part of community this school is not just children going to some place and learning i think it is a joint uh, journey that is being taken by the parents students and the teachers they come together and try to create an environment which will facilitate learning and i love it so um, actually uh, um, the work that i do as a professional uh, is uh, of place making i take care of public places in bangalore try to um, enhance them beautify them and at one point of time i was uh, i don't exactly remember but i was contacted uh, by uh, another parent in bimi to present something over here at that time i came and presented my work and i mean the kids uh, gathered in the presentation room and the way they were asking the questions uh i got totally impressed and all age groups were sitting in the presentation hall and it was very informal and very open so i liked that atmosphere and name two activities which i really liked in bimi one is the uh, um we had a film club um, which was going on for a, for a year that also has been was facilitated by one of the pa parent uh, parent and uh, it was about uh, uh, the films that we were watching and afterwards followed by discussion those films were necessarily on about the education and parenting so um, so that is one activity that i know where parents were involved uh, another is deep dive where there are certain topics which needs a better understanding or a space to express so which was also a very good thought that unless and until parents are clear about what how they are approaching things even in their own life as well as life around us it won't be they won't be able to give that kind of a freedom to their children or the environment will be uh, will not be such good uh, for education so um uh, similarly there were also opportunities where parent can come in and conduct courses i mean whatever skills or expertise that they have they can share with the children so we thought it is always important to give them a choice how they want to take up their education i feel personally that kids should have lot of love for learning when they are doing whatever they are doing it shouldn't be forced like homework it is not like a uh, chore for them to do it should be a joy for them to do if that is the way kids want to learn uh, i would always want to look out for that kind of school and that's how we ended up in bimi one kid who is 12 year old boy harshit uh, he prefers his education to be more uh, systematic and organized uh, but at his own freedom it's not like somebody pushes him to uh, attend at this specific time but then when he chooses anything he is uh, more uh, responsible or more committed to it because he chose it so it is i can say uh, freedom comes with responsibility he feels very responsible when he is given a choice what to do 
uh, that's how i have seen him over last few years i think he has been ever since he is 4 years old he has been in the same school and he is 12 year old now and i can see lot of uh, growth in him personally commitment and responsibility is what i have seen much in him which he has grown in as a bimi community the parents the sakha the faculty all put together we see that everybody plays a role in child's development i don't want to say just education but the overall growth so jay is little different he only chooses one or two electives that he wants to do but he is very contented with that the freedom which is given in this community is helping him grow in areas which he wanted uh, what i could explore here is that being part of bimi is just not being part of any other school they I mean, start the day by planning they greet people here they understand what are the things is important and what are the things is urgent apart from the basic school activities and uh, other priorities that they have uh, what i could understand is they have been in a situation to figure out that what their interest lies where they want to uh, explore more further and what is important to them and what is not so important to them you will have to figure out that what you want to do and most importantly what you don't want to do so that's where i see that you know bimi coming into the picture has given this initiative they had given this an option to figure out or to think as a child that what he wants to do I rather mean, than we should feel that interest to give her a way as to see if she develops more interest to it and eventually this is what happened we spoke to faculty here facilitators here they also came in forward she also came in forward design the plan and let's start with a fashion show i would like to talk about uh, our faculty team uh, right now we are about nine uh, faculty members and uh, this uh, faculty team is divided into two parts uh, two teams uh, one is the sakha team and the other one is the content team and uh, sakha we are uh, we have about six uh, faculty working as uh, sakhas Uh, Sakha faculty is a mentor faculty for uh, a few set of children and currently we have about uh, uh, 10 to 12 children assigned to each Sakha faculty and the role of uh, Sakha is uh, to uh, give uh, emotional space uh, for children and uh, with Sakha faculty children can share anything and everything and that will be kept confidential it will not be shared with anyone else uh Uh, another role of uh, faculty uh, sakha faculty is uh, to uh, observe d- document the observations about how children are learning different things truth be said i i am very surprised right now to be speaking as a bimi uh, alumni pair parent because i always thought of myself as going to continue with bimi as long as bimi you know as long as it's there for children you said an, until 16 years um so when my daughter decided to actually move away from bimi it came more as a shock to me than but she has been had been thinking about it for a while now there is one thing i have always cherished about bimi is let me also add have have had difficulties to understand and learn uh but i've really cherished is their democratic process I really really believe that uh the availability of a of freedom of speech uh for a child is so important um and the fact that as like in our country we come together to actually create bills and policies such experience is already given to the child in school is something i absolutely cherish as a process not just for her but as a parent i take away that idea for myself also the word that keeps coming back to me every time is permission and i think that's something that we regulate in a lot of ways as parents we regulate how much permission what is okay what's not okay what's okay to explore what's not okay to explore what's okay to think about uh what age should you be thinking about certain things and i think it 
uh, Bimi gave me the opportunity to see my daughter be able to allow herself to explore whatever she likes um, without having the constraints of having said this is what is okay and this is what is not okay and even if something was not okay there was permission to process that rather than staying in a space of judgment about it so to be able to say okay this was not cool but let's talk about it um, I thought was I thought it is a bit something that is not available to us in a lot of times a lot of times for me Bimi is um, Bimi is um, introspecting uh, and looking within myself as well as understanding the world and how I interact with others and how other people interact and throughout throughout the years uh, I think I've over the years like I've ex explored or like um, thought deeply thought about different things but and then now that I'm even passed out I every time I reflect on what Bimi was or my years in Bimi I keep thinking about how at different points uh, in time I would I had like a different a certain worldview or a certain um, way that I should live my life uh, but then and then how that contrasted to another point in time and then um, as now I've even passed out uh, I also learn about like how other people in the world think about Be Me and now, now as I have passed out of Be Me uh, I when I reflect upon my years in Be Me I I think about the different uh, moments in time where I had different uh, ideas about the world and then different ideas of how to live life or how I'm supposed to behave like I had expectations from myself and others and how that has changed and truly understanding that was what my whole uh, experience in Bimi was I guess because it was it was all about understanding myself understanding my relationships with people activities in Bimi and the happenings of Bimi are so integral part of our day-to-day day -day life. Bimi is a place where you can just have fun, learn different things from different people and it could be anyone from some, from someone who is 7 years old to 14, 15 or even 18, 19, 20 or even uh, one of the faculties. So you, I can learn anything here and I can do whatever I want, it's very flexible so that uh, that really makes me feel happy about uh, being in this, uh, in being in Bimi. The thing with outstations and stuff in Bimi, it's all just really, it's, it, I mean, I don't want to say student managed, but it's managed by like everyone. You will see everyone helping out. It's uh, for everything going on during the outstation. But you will also have this like core committee of people who are sort of running things. Uh, and, and they're all like, um, they're all ne not necessarily older kids also. I've, we've had outstations where the uh, committee is just like younger kids running the show. And it's all gone well in the end. I mean, like we haven't lost people. No one's died. <laughs> so with trips, we went to many other trips also. These, the ones we just said were just a few like adventure based type, which we actually trained for. But we also went to places like Goa, where one of the most exciting things was to like sleep on the beach. So in Goa we slept without any tents, we just had mats and sleeping bags and then we slept on the beach and we didn't know if um, we didn't know if the water will reach us or not. So we put all these bottles that we found on the beach, just trash. So we put them as markers and if it if the water reached the third what like third bottle, third marker, then that means we have to get up. But then we all fell asleep and I don't think anyone kept track of where the water <laughs> General, children when they are given the freedom, they find their own path. 
So when they find their path, they know where their weakness is and how to make use of their strength. Then they find the path and they move forward. If we put them in the structure, for example, a person who is capable of doing some level of mathematics, you give them some other level of mathematics, they find it difficult. So if we find their level and give it supporting material, then they with desire, once a fulfillment comes in their doing, they feel happy. When they are happy and successful, they then you need only guidance, you don't need teaching for them. Because they have the guidance and desire is there, they will move forward. Right material given at the right time to the right children, they will move forward. Structure kills the children because the child needs to fit into the structure, then only it has. To get into the structure is molding the child, molding the, stunting the growth of the mind. When the mind is stunted, obviously whatever follows after will also be stunted. When there is freedom, when there is good motivation and desire, then everything blossoms beautifully like a flower. Whether I'm right or whether I'm wrong Whether I find a place in this world or never belong I gotta be me I gotta be me What else can I be but what I am I want to live, not merely survive And I won't give up this dream of life that keeps me alive I gotta be me